What is going on guys? Riot here playing some- I'm, I'm not playing anything. Damn it, that's an old habit. Um, Riot here reading some comments. I totally dropped the ball and haven't done a reading comments in like a month, month and a half, two months. It's crazy. It's just- everything's just been piling up new content here, there, then there's a new convention, you gotta take a plane somewhere, it's just nuts. So, um, so yeah, that's- that's pretty much my excuse for the delay. It's a terrible excuse because there should not be an excuse, but that's what I'm gonna go with right now. So today I'm just going to read a few comments and then also, um, because today wasn't even supposed to be a reading comments, I was just like, how have I not done that yet in a while? I gotta throw that in there. Today was going to be a, like, uh, a convention meetup video. But, uh, I'll get into that information later. Right now I have a few comments laid out that it just meant a lot to me or made me laugh or weirded me the hell out in the past, like, month and, um, even past month and a half, baby, so I gotta, I gotta get into a few of them. Okay, now this one made me laugh for sure, because it was, it's, def it's definitely more of a compliment than anything. I can't deny it. I have a very shiny-ass forehead. Like, this, this, this shit is ridiculously shiny. Try editing every night for, like, six, seven hours and having to stare at it. It's exa It's blinding is what it is. This guy, though, right, your videos make me have a permanent smiley on my face, you sexy, shiny forehead man. See, that's, that's the best way you're going to be if there's anyone ever going to address a shiny forehead issue. This would be the way to do it. I mean, short of... Well, I guess this giant neon light right in front of me really doesn't help either. That shit is bright as a mofo. But other than that, I think it's it's inevitable. It's good that y'all have accepted it as one of the family. Because I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> Alright, now this one's kind of long for sure. I got it off. Like, a couple of these are off my Facebook page. One's off my Twitter. And the rest are off YouTube comments. Because, like, I just try and... That's why sometimes it'll look like I'm not replying to as many comments as you think. Like, he didn't even reply to any YouTube comments. But then what you don't see is, like, all the Facebook messages I respond to are just... It's just there's so many different outlets every day I try and get to a bunch. So this one's off Facebook. It's super long. It's a really nice one. But it was just, like... It was just really cool to read. I'm also hiding the guy's name because since it's Facebook and not YouTube, you can actually find, like, all his information off this. And that just seems a little uncool to do to somebody. Like, that's no bueno. I'm not sure if this is the real riot or not. Would think your posts have tons more likes, but hopefully you are. Since I didn't even really advertise my Facebook page till recently. I'm really bad at social media. I just made an Instagram like two weeks ago. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say hello, I'm Mike. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. You make a big difference in people's lives and I truly appreciate that. Without going into too much detail, since I'm not sure if you're the real OG riot, I'll just say that even though I'm 23, been in the military my entire adult life, and I've been through some pretty bad shit, you were always there, able to make me laugh or get my mind off the darker things, and save my life even if you didn't know it. You are truly an inspiration, my good sir. Thank you for all that you've done. You make so many people's lives better, no matter their age and background history, and I thank you for that. I love all your videos, especially ARK Survival Evolved Modded Series. I just wanted to say thank you for all the good you do. Sorry this was so long. Hope you're enjoying PAX and having a great time. Yeah, see that was actually during PAX East, which was PAX East, which was like the end of April. So that was like two months ago right there. See, I hang on to comments that are awesomely, like, deep. Now this comment, for a buttload of very obvious reasons, got to me on a, on a crazy level. There's just... It's just crazy that this guy actually thinks that I, I help people that freaking much. It's just the fact that I even made him laugh that much is mind-blowing to me, because he's like... He's, he's my age and he's in the army. He's like, he's probably seen some crazy shit. He's got some gnarly training. I can't imagine. I could, I'd, I'd be homesick in a heartbeat, but the fact that I can still make him laugh, that is awesome. Cause I feel like, I feel like once you're that hard and extreme, pretty much just, it's just action moves and U, UFC fights after that. I'm just honored to even be able to have like, to take part in a fraction of making this guy smile because even no matter where you stand on the military or wars and all that, Joining the military to defend your country is one of the hardest things any person could do and the fact that most of them come back with like Mental disorders or like limbs missing and shit like that's just it's just mind-blowing even be able to have a fraction of a, a Segment of just to, to be able to help All right, we're gonna pull a hard left turn right here with this one I have goats in real life and my dog bangs the goats. I don't know why I don't know why he commented this I don't know what inspired him to share this information with me Literally saved the comment 37 seconds after he posted. That's how shocking I was when I read. I have goats in real life and my dog bangs the goats. For some reason, he just felt like informing me and everyone else in the comment section that he has a goat banging dog in his possession. This information has since destroyed my life and I've held onto this comment for numerous reasons. One being, what the fuck? This one just seems perfect to choose right now since I did just swear. It wasn't on purpose. I honestly am randomly siphoning through these comments. I didn't expect to read the dog bangs goats, but some of these have been in this folder for like a month, month and a half. So this guy, what is the point of swearing in your vids? It doesn't add anything to rubbish vids anyways. 
first off, thank you for calling my videos rubbish. It's always nice to slide that in the end there. It inspires me to upload better. <laughs> but the point of swearing, so there's no point, there's no point in swearing. I don't swear on purpose. Like, I think I'll slip in some F-bombs and then a B-word in that video today. It's like, it's nothing you planned. If I had my way, I actually wouldn't even swear nearly as much. Like, for a long time now, for like a month now, I've wanted to also start a Minecraft channel just because I have so many YouTubers I know all just basically convincing the hell out of me to do it. The main reason I haven't, however, is you can't really swear with Minecraft, so I'm trying to get that now. See, normal, normal speaking, I'm good. I don't swear. But as soon as a jump scare or some crazy shit happens, then then it's just it's just all, all hell breaks loose. There's nothing I can do about it. There's a dinosaur chasing me. I'm gonna scream. You know, it's... But, um, yeah, there's there's no point in swearing, dude. It's No one plans it. It's more of a surprise thing. It's no one... What? That's why this comment bugged me. What's the point? There is no point. There doesn't have to be a point thing. Sometimes things don't have a point. Have you ever seen, like, a dull pencil? There's no point. This one I just loved. Melody, I fucked your mom. First off, a chick? A chick? What? That's disgusting. Like, what kind of... What, what kind of lady talk is that? Come on. I fucked your mom. What? What kind of girl goes around talking like that? Show some class, for God's sakes. And I replied, funny, I just kicked your mom out of bed for farting. So I thought that was a pretty good response, because, like, not only is her mom banging people like my mom supposedly is, but it, her mom's farting in bed, and that's just, that's just low. So I feel like I definitely... <laughs> Why is this comment in this folder? I gotta keep my stuff organized more. Yeah, this guy, this Five Nights at Freddy's Pro right here, just went ham. Like, he was having a bad day, and he just went crazy on me. Alright, by the way, the swear words for this, I don't get, I don't get blamed for them. It's in the comment. I have to read it as it is. So, fuck your life, you gay bitch, and stop smoking weed and your mum, and why are you wearing a Christmas hat saying right on it? I hope you die in a fire and stop watching gay porn. See, this was during all of December. I had a Christmas Santa hat that said right on it, so he commented on one of those videos. But this guy, this is just, this is the downfall of society right here. This is stupidity at its finest. Fuck your life, you gay bitch, and stop smoking weed and your mom. What is that? What is that and your mom? It feels like he was gonna, gonna insult my mom, and then he just, he just got distracted by the Christmas hats. <laughs> Damn, dudes, I just commented like, Jesus, dude, you couldn't even stop thinking about gay porn long enough to insult me. I'll worry about you. I mean, come on, how many times did he mention, like, he, he, he talks, he brings up being gay twice in one insult. I love everybody, but that's called, that's, you might be closeted if you have to call everyone gay every five seconds. You might be gay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being gay, but this kind I have a problem with, because he's just freaking out on everybody, calling everyone a gay bitch, po spot poking, spot poking, pot smoking weed bombs. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. This one threw me a curveball right here. I see some weird comments on the day to day. Alright, last but not least, since I just officially started saving comments again for a new reading comments, I just wanted to get through some of these ones I already had saved, and um, I'm definitely laughing over the fact that I had some of these, some of these saved. This next one is so disturbing. This is, I don't know why, it's, it, it was a disturbing month that month for comments or something. Phone's ringing. I just, I don't know what was going on. This was actually during PAX East as well, funny enough, so it's like, there's just something going on that month. There's... Okay, why does Riot look like a freaking... I, I'm not even gonna start complaining. Happy PAX East. Happiness. Happy gaming. Happy hippo. What What am I doing here? I have better things to do. Like, like, like open the fridge. That's sad as fuck. My neighbors are doing dirty things and I can hear it. Really, really loud. And I'm liking it even though I shouldn't. What is wrong with me? I guess if I'm a long Riot watch, there's actually a few, a lot of things wrong with me. I'm hungry. Restaurant? No, I'm cheap. Cook up with pizza from last month? Ugh, where was I? Oh yes, right. I don't fucking know. Don't judge me, you freak. If you read this whole comment, why? If you read this whole comment, why? <laughs> I'm sorry, Daniel. I feel like we've had a lot of conversations in the comment section, so this one's kind of just out of the, out of left field. But that, I feel like I'm reading memoirs of a psychopath right there. <laughs> Please don't, please don't kill my family. But I mean, damn, son, why are you, why, like, I've had, what, I've had some weird stuff commented before, clearly. But why are you telling us that you can hear your neighbors having sex really loud and you're liking it? Like, that is some, that's usually, like, followed by, I think I'll murder them in their beds with an axe. <laughs> God damn. I read the whole comment, because it was disturbing as shit. I'm sorry, man, but there is... There's, there's a reason people comment things anonymously uh, on, on the internet because they could get away with saying shit like this. You said this on Facebook, you'd have the cops at your front door. 
I like to think that it's not because you're a long riot watcher that you enjoy listening to your neighbors have sex. I mean, is that the vibe I'm putting off? I thought I was playing dinosaur games. Clearly, I'm letting off a whole nother thing, so. I don't know, I guess I should watch out for that. Dude, I love you, I'm sure you're a great guy, but holy crap. Like, damn, dude, like, oh, woo. This gave me shivers. I remember reading this in PAX East as well. My manager read it as well, too. He was, he was, he was a little weirded out by that neighbor's part, too. But the, the rest of it, though, I mean, I like, I like pizza. All right, and that wraps up that little trip down memory lane. That was beautiful. I guess that's, I, that, that, that was straight classy. I definitely could have saved a few more insults, but a lot of people just aren't, aren't original with them at all. They just say, like, F you or that kind of stuff. Like, there's no... Where's the creativity? Alright, so anyways, yeah, this video is gonna be super short, but it was... This This was the other main focus of the video, was, um, for all my people who are heading out to VidCon out in California. It's probably already happening while this is being posted, but I am at VidCon. I'll be here for, like, four or five days, so if anybody wants to reach me... I guess just hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Oh, also, if you want to keep up with any of my antics for the adventures as well. Because I also just got tickets to Insomnia 58 in England in, like, August. So that's going to be so cool. Because I know a lot of my subscribers are in the UK, too. So, yeah, my boy Campbell, who I know has watched this, I'll see you there as well. But, um, but yes, yeah, so that's going to be awesome. So, yeah, if you either want to try and hook up and get, like, a signature or handshake or, I don't know, laugh about dinosaur balls or some shit... <laughs> Definitely hit me up because I'll be at those too. That's freaking VidCon's like the 22nd to 26th of June. But if you don't have your ticket, it might be too late. I don't know. There's only really so many scalpers and all those things. But um, but yeah, make sure to follow me on those three: Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. They're all in the description below if you want to keep up with all my crazy shiz. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the next reading comments video. So if you had a good time, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.